Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Tuesday, April 8th, 2025. This location for the East Pacific Rise in the last year has been really active. And earlier today, this morning, there was a magnitude 5.3. It is west of Chile. On the Pacific Plate, this is considered an interplate earthquake, not actually along any fault line or even the uh, East Pacific Rise, which is drawn out in red here. This is a location where the Pacific and the Nazca Plate are pulling apart. And this area, luckily, isn't famous for any massive earthquakes, um, as they say on the Ring of Fire subduction zones. But it's still active with smaller to moderate earthquakes. All around the globe, there's been an increase in uh, interplate earthquakes, a lot of them along the east coast of the United States. Given the remote location of today's earthquakes, there is no named surface map fault. Uh, as most detailed fault maps focus on continental regions or nearby shore areas. However, the broader tectonic setting suggests potential for earthquake activity tied to the dynamics of the nearby East Pacific rise. And that, again, that's drawn out in red. Earthquakes in this region are typically shallow and associated with the creation of a new ocean crust. Though... Uh, significant quakes with larger ruptures, like those on the continental transport boundaries, are less common here. Earthquakes are definitely increasing around the world. Yeah, it's about, oh, it's a long ways from Chile, you can see here. But we definitely got a lot of earth changes going on. It seems to suggest that the spreading for the East Pacific rise on the uh, left side here, going west, um, that's pushing all the way across the ocean. I did a, a video about recent earthquakes. And then the Nazca GAC plate, um, that's being pushed going towards the east. Basically, it's creating an effect where the Pacific plate is being pushed and pulled apart. Not too long ago, down by Easter Island, uh, there was an earthquake. Yeah, that was the 5.1 that I talked about. I believe um, that was in the report when I did a report about um, the earthquake down by Tonga. That was April 4th, a magnitude 5.7. And on the 30th, there was a magnitude 7.0 uh, where they had a brief tsunami alert that went out for that one. Anyways, yeah, is that going to create more earthquakes? It definitely will, but I don't know where. We'll just have to wait and see. They don't have the ability to predict earthquakes right now, supposedly. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.